after finishing up the Pixel Nest tutorial and then doing the little bonus video with the random pool pee, I decided to do one more thing. I got to wondering about creating something so you would know when you finish the level, or, if, or one way to finish the level. And one way, of course, would be if you killed all the pool pee. So you, however many you spawn, you could keep track of how many are killed, and then when they're all gone, you would know that that's all of them. Another way to do it is with a finish line, and that's how I decided to implement this. If you did the random pool pee bonus thing, uh, you can start from there. If not, you can start from the end of the Pixel Nest tutorial if you want to go on with that. This little piece will work with both of those. It won't make any difference which one you decided to do. So what we're going to do is create in the hierarchy an empty game object. And we're going to go ahead and put it inside of the foreground level there. And we're going to name it Finish Line. And we're going to add a component uh, physics 2D box collider. Okay, now you can't actually see anything there. I mean, there there's nothing there's nothing really to see. It's a nothing right now. However, we're going to scale it, and we're actually going to we're not going to scale the the thing itself because it doesn't there's nothing there. But we're going to scale the the hit box the box collider itself, and we're just going to say that y is going to equal 20, and so that actually pretty much covers uh, anywhere that our little guy can go in here. He's going to have to hit this at some point. Now, we don't know exactly where we want it, and that's, I'm kind of eye eyeballing it. You know, I don't actually have a lot of platforms down here. Uh, I could put more platforms, but that's not, that's not what we're doing right now. I'm just going to, I'm going to put it right here for now. We want some of the pool pee to be uh, generated somewhere around here because once they hit the screen they're going to go a lot faster so even if even if the pool pee are behind this they're going to get to the guy before the guy gets to the finish line we have a finish line here we need to know when the guy hits it and that's going to take a little script and we're going to call that one hit finish line let's go ahead and open that up and we're not going to use uh, either one of these actually we're going to be using void on trigger enter 2D and I'm going to grab the collider that comes in off of that. And now we have a game object variable called hit obj and that is going to equal collider dot game object. And now we're going to check and see if the game object, the hit obj, is the player because we don't want this to happen if one of the pool pee happens to run across the finish line. So we're going to say if hit obj dot tag equals player uh, then transform dot parent dot game object dot add component game over script and this is the same little chunk of code let me go ahead and close this off here just so that I don't forget that this is the same little chunk of code that is in the player script so let's take let's take a look at that player script player script says on destroy so when he's dead it calls the game over script so all I did was say that if we if the player hits that finish line then call the game over script now I don't destroy the player or anything like that we could do that also but we're just gonna go with this for right now and so what we have to do a couple things we have to do number one is uh, the player has to be tagged we haven't done any tagging in any of these tutorials so far but if you select the player in the hierarchy and then over in the inspector you can see tag and it's untagged but you can go and just select the player. So we don't actually have to create a new tag for this. This will just work fine. And then be sure and cl click the apply button over here. So now the player is tagged with player. And the finish line needs that script. So hit finish line. I'm just going to drop it in there on the finish line. I think that's all we have to do. If I remember correctly, that should do it. Let's go ahead and move this over here so that we can actually see it happen without uh, waiting for too long. 
So once the player gets about to hear, nope, nope, we're still not up there. See up here? Here we go. We're getting close. Oh, look at that. Okay, that's cool. Did you see what was going on? Uh, <laughs> all the pool people were, were uh, piling up against this thing, and it wasn't working right. And that is because the finish line needs to be set as a trigger. Okay, and I, sh I remember that earlier in when I was typing up the script, because it says on trigger enter 2D. Okay, so we need to make sure that it is a trigger. Now, physics won't react against it, but we'll get the uh, we'll get the event when the player uh, ship actually gets to it. So, let me go ahead and kill some guys here. But if you watch up at the scene there, you'll see we're getting close to uh, crossing that finish line. And there we go. So, the, the game is still running, um, and we would probably want to do something about that. But at the same time, if we end up moving this clear back here, and we start the game... You can see there are actually no pool pee clear back here. So I would probably, at the, in this case, want to put it up about here. So we've got some pool pee kind of back here. But now the problem is we will eventually get to the, the finish line. But after everything has scrolled way to the left. So what we need to do is we need to add the scrolling script to the finish line. So that it can scroll along too. So I'm going to grab that script. Drag it on the finish line, and scrolling script needs a speed of 1.5, and um, direction is minus 1, so that's good. Where did I get the 1.5 from? Because I want it to scroll the same as the background elements themselves, and so uh, I just checked on that, and those are scrolling at 1.5, and so the finish line is also going to scroll at 1.5. And this is another thing you could tweak. Maybe you want it to scroll the same as the clouds or something like that, but let's go ahead and try this now. Okay, and there we go. Now we have the the pool pee uh, scrolling along and attacking us. And we have the uh, finish line coming up now. And it's still going to be uh, a while, so I'm going to go ahead and pause this for a moment and then come back right before we hit it. Okay, here we go. There were a couple uh, pool pee that were right by the... Uh, okay, there we go. They were right by the finish line, but... Once they hit the edge of the screen, the right edge of the screen, they start moving fast and attacking. Uh, and there we go. We can hit retry, and it'll start all over again. And uh, cool. So now we have a finish line. We have a way to actually finish the level uh, in this uh, Poopy tutorial.